This is fun. Hell yeah, I'm happy to be here. You guys, uh, you guys doing power stances? <laughs> One person. Okay, cool. The rest of you raw dog confidence. Fuck you. Okay. What do you think you're better than me and this lady? Fuck off. Okay. You know what they are, right? Like you do something to feel confident and good in the morning. Like some people do this. This is the Superman pose. Uh, a lot of people do this for the freaks. I hate this one. Um, I've been doing the same power pose for 20 years and someone just saw me do this. I'm so fucking embarrassed. Uh, every morning before I leave my apartment, I look in the mirror and I go like this. I swear to God, I go like. <laughs> I swear. And my now ex-girlfriend saw me do this and was, and, and she was like, what the fuck is that? And I had to look an adult in the eye and be like, babe, this is the pose Jackie Chan makes on the DVD cover of Rush Hour. And it's the only way I feel confident leaving home in the morning. I love you. Please don't leave. Um, uh, this, okay, cool. Yeah, you guys are fun. Um, yeah, this made my roommate laugh. I don't usually do impressions. Please be cool about this. This is the only impression I'm ever going to do. I need you all on my side. Uh, this, is, this is Italian Urkel. Okay? <laughs> We're on board. We know Urkel. Yeah, we've heard of Italians. You're going to love this. This is Italian Urkel. You telling me I did this. All right. Um, that's... <laughs> Thank you. Hell yeah. This is cool. Okay, so you guys are fun. Is this a, I think you, you guys seem like a horny crowd. Um, I'm, getting, I'm getting back out there. I went through it. So, yeah, a girl peed in my bed recently. <laughs> I'm cool with it. I'm totally cool with that. I'm, if you've never peed in someone's bed, you've never been in love. This girl peed in my bed, but then she was like, it's not pee, it's cum. And I was like, well, you were asleep. And... Um, <laughs> <laughs> and it's yellow, so <laughs> we got to get you to a doctor now. <laughs> I could never do that. A lady could never be like, Max, did you shit in my bed? It's like, no, it's cum. Okay, um, <laughs> this is something I found out last year. Um, if you return an engagement ring, not only will you get a fraction of your money back, but Diane behind the counter of Zales at Queen Center Mall will let you hug her for as long as you need. Um, <laughs> that's cool. Uh, going through a breakup. I'm at the point where everything reminds me of her. Like, I walked by a Foot Locker the other day and I was like, oh, she wore shoes. And that's not a healthy place to be. This is my first breakup in my 30s and it's so different now. Like, when you get dumped in your 20s, your whole mentality is like, oh no. I don't know who I am anymore. But like when you get dumped in your 30s, it's like, oh fuck, someone out there knows who I really am. And that's <laughs> so much scarier, dude. This, this girl has dumped me uh, four times. I think it's me. Um, this is uh, 10 more and I get a set of steak knives. One of my friends was like, why do you keep going back? I was like, do you see, has anybody done that before? Has anybody like gone back and forth? You have? It's so hard to explain to somebody that there's nothing more exciting in a relationship than someone who's always about to leave all the time, right? That's what the edge of your seat is made for, dude. It's so good. Um, so yeah, the last time, the last time this girl, I'm actually, I am having sex with my ex-girlfriend right now. Um, uh, it's cool. I've never done this before. I like it. I'm cool. Thank you. Thank you. It's fun. I've never done, because it's cool, because like there's no dating, you know what they like in bed, and I'm still like, completely in love with her. And it's the most like, um, it's, it's great, dude. That's, the, the stakes are here, dude. I, the last time this lady dumped me, uh, she immediately went to New Zealand for her best friend's wedding, and she was taking a solo trip through Europe on her way back. She is white. And she got, um, she, she, she got to Paris, and this is the pettiest thing I've ever done. I've, so when I get sad, I lose a lot of weight. I stop eating. So like, I didn't look good, but I did look thin. And so I've never done this before. I posted a shirtless picture on Twitter, and then I went to sleep. And when I woke up at 8.30 in the morning, I got a phone call from my ex-girlfriend who I hadn't talked to in two and a half months. And she was like, you fucking asshole. And I was like, oh, hell yeah, it worked. And so she, she's yelling at me. I'm yelling at her by noon. She was like, I love you. I was like, I love you. She was like, can you come to Paris? I was like, I'll be there in 12 hours. And so I, this is the most romantic thing anybody's with a credit card has ever done. I, I fucking... 
I fly to Paris and it's I've never been and we're doing cool sex shit. Like Paris is where sex goes to fuck. And so like we're doing yeah, right? Like why did that we're doing that? We go to Brussels. I had my birthday in Brussels, and then we went to Amsterdam where I met her parents for the very first time. And like I can't tell you how big of a jump it is to go from from doing anal in Paris to meeting your ex-girlfriend's mom in the Anne Frank house. It's just, a, it's like a completely different basement to attic situation than you think you're ready for. It's, uh, anal in Paris is my favorite Kanye West song. Okay, I got that out. Um, I don't know, I did think it was gonna work out with that lady uh, because we had our first date at the Dave and Buster's in Times Square and it's not the funny part. Um, we were. It was going so well, and then I took out my wallet, and she was like, do you already have a Dave & Buster's card? I was like, what? No, dude, like... The bartender came out and was like, Max, the usual? It's like, shut the fuck up, Ted. <laughs> this is for real how I dealt with this breakup, um, and I think I know you can totally answer this. Does anybody in here uh, like the band Fish? No, okay. <laughs> you speak for everybody and I understand that. I don't. You do think you're better than me. Okay, so I, this girl broke up with me. I saw Fish seven times. And like, so I don't drink anymore, but I'm still cool. And like, so I went to Fish and there was a moment where I was like, I was eating acid. I was, uh, I was gumming Molly. I was snorting ketamine. I had a nitrous balloon. And I honestly looked at my best friend. I was like, can you believe I haven't had a drink in like three years, dude? Like, uh, <laughs> fish fucking rips, dude. Um, greatest, but you can be whoever you want, dude. You're just floating through whatever you want. Any, uh, anyways, they're coming back. I'm stoked. Um, yeah, no, I, I, I didn't deal with that, right? It's because like, everything's fucked up. Like, I, I smoke a lot of pot. That's how I deal with shit. Like, everyone here, no one here's a cop, right? I, I'm on mushrooms right now. It's okay. Like, please be cool. Um, I... Like, no one in here is a cop, right? Like, if you're a cop, you have to tell me. If you're a cop, where is my son? Okay, so I, I, I'm doing this new thing, though, where I get high and I make fake dating profiles, and I'm using, hold on, um, you, using pictures of my dad, and, 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 And the bio on all of them says, just making sure my daughter isn't on here. And <laughs> he's crushing it, dude. My dad is 67 years old and has Parkinson's. Uh, we smoke a lot of pot together, very shaky joint pass. Uh, we get high together. Um, <laughs> you can laugh at that. It is totally okay. You can laugh at that. He wrote that joke. It's all right. It's fine. Okay, if he could have, if he could still write, he would have written that. But like, so. They didn't teach, like I'm from the South. Is anybody here from the South? Oh shit, yeah, where are, you, where are your manners, dude? A fucking phone in the front row from the South? Where are you from? Alabama. Alabama. Hell yeah, this might be just a you and me thing. Did you also think that you were gonna have sex at the end of sex ed? <laughs> okay, all right. No, uh, just me, okay. Uh, I, I was, do you, have a, do you have a driver's license? Did you have to drive a car to get that license? <laughs> Ipso facto, dude. And so like, I, I, I thought it was gonna happen. I was 12, I had my best cargo shorts on. Fucking like camo, dude, below the knee, very cool shit. And I walk, I walk in and the woman that's teaching it is like, okay, I need a volunteer for this next thing. And I was like, fucking yeah, dude. <laughs> and, and I go up. And she opens up a bag of glitter and she says, all right, shake someone's hand. And I was like, all right, this is how I find my mate. And I, I, went, I went over to this girl, uh, Jess, who, who fucking now works in Congress. <laughs> and, I, and I put my hand out, we're shaking hands. And the woman's like, great, now you two shake everybody's hands. I was like, this is getting wild, right? Like, like this is my first time, everybody. And by the end of it, it's a bunch of children covered in glitter. And the woman says, congratulations, you all have AIDS. <laughs> and like, I grew up in Georgia. This is a school in the South. Like, 
One kid freaks the fuck out and runs to the nurse's office like, I think I have AIDS, I think I have AIDS. And that kid stands up here tonight with just a little bit of HPV. Um, thanks a lot, guys.